which I think is very important when it comes to monitoring a SQL Server. This is a graphical user interface that uh, you can use for tracing or monitoring an is instance of the database engine. You can capture and save the data about each event to a file or a table to anal analyze later. You can also add events class, which is a, essentially a type of event that can be traced. Uh, for example, the show plan XML is an event that will let you uh, save the query execution plan. You can also add a data column, which is really an attribute of an event class captured in the trace. For example, uh, duration in milliseconds. You can save the trace to a file or a table. We already mentioned that. And uh, you can use out-of-the-box templates or customize them. So our demo scenario for this is essentially, again, the same queries. I've created a user template called cache underscore template that I will use for this demo. We are looking for slow queries, which are of duration greater than 100 millisecond in AdventureWorks uh, 2008 database. And I have set up uh, two sessions to mimic activity, and we already looked at that. One inserts data into the sales customer all table and then updates it using a loop. The other one just uh, browses the data from select customer underscore all table using a loop. And they both use the wait for delay option. So let us close some of these things. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, go ahead and close this also. Because that's our last slide. And then um, let me actually close some of these also. Because I really want to focus in on uh, these two queries. Uh, that one we can kind of leave running. Uh, so the way you launch Profiler is you go to Tools. SQL Server Profiler. We already saw one one click profiler launch from Activity Monitor, but this is how you would normally start it. Um, and then it asks you where to connect. I'm just going to use a default instance. And then notice for the template, um, it's saying, okay, do you want to use this cache template? And I before I do that, I want to show you how to uh, edit templates. You can select File, Templates, and Edit Template. And uh, there are the rest of them are out of the box, but you could select the cache template if you wanted to edit it. And then uh, Event Selection is essentially where you would uh, select which um, columns and which rows do you want to show. So the ones I added to this are uh, the Show Plan XML, uh, which essentially um, includes like I said the query execution plan and I added some of the other things if you go to the right the two things I added are uh, database ID and also uh, database name information so you can modify templates I will just go ahead and cancel this one now to start a new trace you can do a file new trace or you can click on this first icon and then uh, we can call it let's say uh, trace 914 and I'm actually going to go ahead and save this to a file or yeah let's let me save it this to a file the file uh, essentially is nice for you because you can save it to a file and you can replay that trace on a different server uh, the table is nice if you wanted to maybe um, look and analyze the data so they both have a little bit of uh, advantage on depending on what you're trying to do as far as the maximum size I will say let's say 500 megabytes for the size of this file and for events I will just uh, leave everything as is the one filter I want to use is to make sure that I am looking at AdventureWorks database so the way you do that is you click on column filters well, let me actually, uh, sorry, back up and let me talk about uh, events and um, what they are, you know, how to add them. So, so the events I'm looking at right now are, law. one is logs, and uh, 
and if you select the event down below you'll notice it gives you a little information on what they are so this indicates that a request for a lock on a resource uh, you know has taken more than uh, zero so that's important to know if you're running into some locking issues the show XML plan essentially gives you the um, graphical representation of uh, what the query is doing uh, stored procedures has an event called RPC completed this essentially occurs when a remote procedure is called and then under T-SQL we have uh, two listed which is uh, SQL batch completed and SQL statement completed now if you wanted to add events you could click on show all events and then uh, you could you know essentially pick whatever you want I could uh, expand transactions and if I was using DTC distributed transaction I could use that so let's select that and then uh, now notice that on the bottom we will have DTC now on the top we have essentially the data columns so a lot of the information on your query is going to be under uh, text data and when you click on that it, let, it lets you filter um, the ones that are of interest are CPU reads writes duration in milliseconds uh, and what time maybe what process is running that again you can select more columns so if you select show all columns notice that there's a lot of other information in here that you could select uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave everything as is but the one thing I did want to filter is that I want to make sure it's an adventure works database so you click on column filters you go to uh, database ID which is 7 and uh, I can make sure that I mean I know that but let me show you how we can get that you can do a select star from sys dot databases and so down here in this row it says uh, it's 7 for AdventureWorks so this will limit all the um, the data to just that database and I'm just going to go ahead and click on run so the trace is started there's not a whole lot going on uh, I want to go back here first I want to run this query all it's doing is it's doing a select count from sales.customer underscore all and return 3.5 million rows and uh, here's the trace now a lot of information here it took a CPU of 952 it, it did a lot of a lot of reads the duration is very important I mean this this really means that it took 3.6 seconds which is a long time uh, as far as SQL Server is concerned so if you were looking for uh, slow queries uh, this would definitely uh, be right up there spit is again we have already looked at 59 and we can verify that um, up here that we are indeed running 59 I'm going to switch to 58 and uh, this is our read intensive query which we are uh, doing to select data from sales customer all table so let me go ahead and run this one and now this is definitely going to generate a lot of activity on the profiler because it's going to run the same query 20 times. Okay, so now you will see the activity pick up. And as far as uh, looking at the duration column again, notice that uh, you know this would be considered essentially a slow query too. And the primary reason for this one is, let me go ahead and pause this select one of these uh, 